What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we'll be opening up a Darkrai EX. I believe this one is the reprinted uh, Darkrai EX tin and this tin will actually be a battle against the Poke Capital um, and this will actually be a part of his 31 tin opening marathon that is going down on his channel right now so I'll be sure to leave a link to uh, the tin opening marathon and Jeff's side of the battle in the description of the video but yeah without further ado let's just get straight into this tin so on the front here we've got Darkrai looking beastly uh, we got the promo in the little window there um, so it was a part of a trio featuring Rayquaza, Mewtwo and Darkrai so what an awesome trio as you guys can see on the back there they were the three promos um, and this is the contents inside of the tin today so you get a code card for black and white series, booster packs, and one of three of the promos, this time being Darkrai. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this tin and hope to get some solid points on the board and scoop up a win today against Jeff. So yeah, this is what it looks like without the shrink wrap on. It kind of gets rid of like the uh, the glare, makes everything look really um really clean. So yeah, as you guys can see on the top here. It was printed in 2012, so it is a relatively old tin, so what's that, four years from now? I'm opening it four years after it was released, but yeah, that's what it looks like when we first open it up. And look at Darkrai, look at Darkrai, look at Darkrai. Awesome, so let's knock this down now. So here we got Darkrai EX with 180 HP with the ability Dark Cloak and the attack Night Spear. Promo number black and white 46. But yeah, check that card. It looks so good. So good, so good. The mascot of the Amity fam, Amity Empire, coming through. So yeah, here is the code card. I do like how um, back in these black and white series, they had like a little bit of a design on the back of the code card. But yeah, I'm going to keep this one for myself today. But I will give out the codes in these boost packs to you guys today. So be sure to stay tuned for those ones. But yeah, let's throw this up the back, nice and neat and tidy like that, that'll do. Excellent, so we got a nice dark right theme up the back there. And then the packs featured in this tin today is Plasma Blast, Plasma Freeze, and two Plasma Storms. So this Inferno pack feels really heavy. So I'm going to save that one to last. We're going to save Plasma Storm to last because I think that is the fave out of the set. Then we'll go Plasma Freeze and open up. Plasma Blast first. No, so I believe the point system is going to be the same as the MLPB where you've got uh, 1.4 for a reverse rare, 2 points for a holo, 3 for an EX, 4 for a full art, and 5 for a secret rare. If we manage to get a secret rare out of like Plasma Freeze or if Plasma Storm, god damn, that is going to be sweet. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's get straight into this opening and hope to get some solid points on the board today. Today, today. There we go, so that is the first code of the opening. Hopefully you guys managed to get something nice from that one today. And let's hope to get these points up. Awesome, so we are kicking it off with a Porygon. We got Muna, Throw, Kangaskhan, Solosis, Reversal Trigger, Machoke, Pro Professor Juniper, A Reverse, Plasma Energy, that one is just an un uncommon. And... And Electros Hollow, nice, what a way to kick it off. So we're on the board already with two points. Two points, two points. As you guys can see in the light there, it's got a nice little black and white um, Liney Hollow. Looks pretty sweet. It's got 140 HP with Crush Burn and Thunder, Thunder Tempest. Pretty, pretty deadly names, I love it. And that art is pretty sweet too. So what number is that, 33 out of 101? Awesome, awesome, what a way to kick it off. So let's throw that one just up the back there. And get into the next pack. So we got Plasma Freeze with the Buy Sharp. Buy Sharp pack up. So I haven't really cracked into too much of Plasma Freeze. So this should be should be really fun. Alrighty, so there is the second code of the opening. And let's go. Let's see what we can get out of this pack. So we've got a Hoot Hoot. Cacnea. Pachirisu. A Voltorb. Bellum. Jolteon, that looks pretty sweet. Seedra. Staravia. 
Ooh, I believe that one is a reverse rare crocodile. That's pretty sweet. I wonder where Crocodile is. Um, I can't remember the name of the town that is. Let me know in the comment section below what town has the Ferris wheel in black and white. I can't remember. It's one of the electric pin. But yeah, it's got Piston, Headbutt, and Hammer in. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Another one point on the board. And a Seismitoad regular rare. Crocodile, stand up, please. But not bad. Not bad art once again. That looks pretty, pretty vicious for Seismitoad. But yeah, it's got 140 HP with Seismic Punch. And splashing turn. Nice. Excellent. So we've got points out of both packs so far, and we still have the two Plasma Storm packs to go. But yeah, let's crack into the Lipard. I'm not sure why they made Lipard the pack art, like one of the set mascots in Plasma Storm, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. Whatever floats your boat. But there we go, there is the first code. And let's go. Let's see if we can scoop up an Ultra Rare out of Plasma Storm. But let's go. So we got an Elgin. Coffee. Fungus. A uh, Wizma. Scraggy. Plasma Energy. Swadloon. Sorok. That art looks really good. I, I really do like that. It's so plain and so simple, but it looks so good. Then we got a Zubat. This one is just a reverse common. And... A Kling Clang, that is a holo once again. Nice. So that is another two points on the board. So it's got 140 HP with the ability Plasma Steel and the attack Heavy Bullet. Nice. So what's this say in the corner? I can't even read that. God damn it. It says the something gear. Can't even read that. Uh, spins at a high speed then... The energy from the red core charges the mini gear to make it ready to fire. That is so hard to read with all those lines there. God damn it. Can't even read that. Dunno. I don't know. I can't read that. That is so bad. Why would they do that? Anyway. Last pack. Sorry about that guys. I was, I'm really going I'm going to struggle to read that. After this opening. It is going to kick me until I figure out what it says. But let's go. So the final pack of this opening. Let's see what we can get. So we have a Clefairy. We've got Magnemite. A Patrat. Shimchar. Riolu. A Durant. Heedmore. Eldrum once again. We've got an Ether. That one is a Reverse Uncommon. And the final card of this battle against Jeff is an Articuno EX. What a way to finish it off. Talking about last pack magic. And this tin has been awesome. Absolutely awesome. But um, yeah, Articuno EX with 170 HP with Blizzard and Frost Prison. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a tin. Dark Ride coming through with the goods. But yeah, let's have a quick recap of today's opening. Just to wrap it up. Sort it out quickly, quickly, quickly. Cool. So I'll have this at the front. We'll have the have the mascot. So we got Dark Ray being the freebie promo. Obviously, this one doesn't count as any points because we both get it by default. So I'll throw that one at the back. Then we got a reverse rare crocodile, so that is one point. We got the hollow cling clang, which is two points, which makes three. And then we got the hollow electros, which makes five. And then we just got the Articuno EX, which gives us a grand total of 8 points in today's tin opening. So I think we've set the benchmark pretty high today. Um, best of luck to Jeff today. Hopefully he gets some good pulls. I'll um, be sure to leave a link to his uh, opening on the screen now for you guys to check out. Um, be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Articuno art. It's, it's different. I don't know. You, you can't really see the full Articuno. It's kind of just like the head. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and I am a big fan of Plasma Storm as well. So that kind of sways my vote on that a little bit as well. But yeah, be sure to go check out Jeff's side of the battle by clicking the link in the description of the video or the link that I'll leave on screen. Uh, let me know in the comment section below about that Articuno art. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed today's opening. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next opening. Thanks for watching. Peace.